Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks. Now, it was the vacuum of services in healthcare and education in the underserved rural and semi urban pockets that caught the attention of cost accountant Brema Subramanian and Ritu Varma. A PhD from the University of Pennsylvania who's worked globally in investing in IP led renewable technologies. They decided to team up and launch a venture fund to plug the gaps. Today, Ankur Capital is India's first SEBI registered angel fund founded by women and in three years since inception has invested close to 50 crore rupees in nine startups. Shruti Mishra caught up with Ritu in Mumbai to find out more. On one hand, we have impact investment firms like Avishkar. On the other hand, we have foundations like Omidya Network. What is Angur Capital's USP? So our focus has been from day one that we're looking at very, very early enterprises. Hmm. Both, the, both the institutions that you mentioned look at much later stage investments, much larger ticket sizes. Okay. So for us, the gap with, that we saw in the market was at the seed stage, at the early stage here. And... You know, as opposed to companies as absorbing five million or ten million dollars when they weren't quite ready for it, that there were smaller amounts that were capital that were needed to get a company to, you know, discover their unit economics or come to their unit economics. At which point they do raise the larger capital and figure out the scale yeah, that they yeah. go with. So that's our USP. So apart from funding, you know, how do you handhold your investments? So like most VC funds, we will do business development. We, of course, it's in our interest to raise funds for our investee companies and yeah. bring in those contacts. But in addition to that, when the companies are very young, their whole teams have not formed. So we actually have invested internally as from the fund in being able to support you know, talent acquisition at companies, support marketing and sales at companies, support finance and operations at companies to sort of play a CXO role, if you like, mm -hmm. and then graduate to actually getting the hires in sure. to grow that organization. It'd be last year, I believe, issued 10 crore rupees to Ankur Capital from its Aspire Fund. Where have you used the funds? The mandate of the Aspire Funds were to take a look at agriculture, to take a look at more rural focused companies. Mm -hmm. So I would say about six out of those nine companies are focused there. So okay. we have five agriculture based companies. We have health that is focused at taking a look at rural and tier six tier five kind of towns so mm -hmm. they, they money has been deployed in these companies for that all right so you have nine portfolio companies uh, that span across healthcare agriculture skill development education uh, take us through some of your success stories we're very uh, excited about the digital penetration that's sure. happening and the markets it's opening up so we have two agriculture companies that actually ride on that and it's really interesting to see how they have sort of scaled. We've been invested in one called Cropping Technologies for yeah. about three years, right? I mean, they serve over three lakh farmers. Yes, they and are young Turks. <laughs> they are to your young Turks. You know, they have about 250 crops, all the states outside India as well in eight countries. Their technology is relevant. Similarly, Big Heart is doing that on the input side, mm -hmm. right? And they are using technology and saying we're all using e-commerce here to buy whatever in uh, you know from saris yeah. to soap yeah but farmers buy a lot of stuff right for agriculture hmm. and how do you become the e-commerce portal that delivers and gets over some of the inefficiencies of input distribution okay. yeah. so that's technology on the agriculture side so we're invested in a company called tesol yes and tesol um uses this very interesting technology called pcm that keeps trucks you know it's green it keeps trucks at constant temperatures or storage mm -hmm. devices at constant temperatures, you know, so we don't get these massive temperature fluctuations and produce losses. And we're also a very exciting new company that we've invested in, which is looking at breast cancer and early stage breast yeah. cancer and using machine learning and using a no touch, non-invasive methodology to be able to detect that. So it's a pretty wide range that we have. And how many of your companies have been able to raise uh, follow up capital? Four out of nine, I think, of our companies have raised. So we've raised 10 times more capital externally okay. than what we have put in. Okay. So I think that's a good number. Yeah. If I take companies that have been with us for longer than two years, 75% of them have raised follow-on capital. Mm -hmm. And that's a good number by most VC standards. Mm -hmm. right. We're also looking to launch a new fund of up to $50 million yeah. early next year. Why the need and how do you plan to use the fund? From this particular fund, we can do about 10, 12, 15 companies Correct. at most. But really at Ankur Capital, we didn't set out to do 10, 12 companies, right? We want to be the 
capital of choice at this very early stage. We want to do 500 companies. Hmm. So hence the larger fund to do exactly what we do Is today. that the target, 500 companies by yeah, when? Yeah, it is a target. Let's say in the next uh, three years, three or okay. four years that we'd like to see that happen. So, you know, take me through your future plans, the kind of investments you're looking at, the sectors you're looking to invest in. And again, what will be the ticket size? I think we probably would look at fintech for the next billion as well and probably even out of this fund to okay. sort of expand that mandate a bit uh, but on the whole I think we will be opportunistic about some of this we have a sector mandate but if there are opportunistically technologies etc that come along that take a look at the segment I think we will still be there ticket sizes probably will go up a okay. little bit and that's just from what we are seeing happening today hmm. and costs rising in India. All right, so the new fund is slated for early next year. What can we expect from Ankur Capital in the very near future, let's say by end of this year? Yes, we will have five more investments by the end of this year. I think we should have some interesting education okay. uh, investments coming up, a few more in agriculture. So those are the ones that are on our horizon right now. Ritu here is wishing you the very best of luck. It's time now for us to take a break, but when we return, catch all the action from the Shiro's Men's Conference that's coming up. Celebrating 15 years of Young Turks.